Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona. Welcome back. Today, I have my last empties basket until we move and get reset up. This is Monday. We get the keys on Wednesday. Um, we're pretty much done packing. There's still some stuff in the kitchen and in a couple of closets. And I have two of those shoe bags, which I'm just going to take off the hook and put them in a box. And... Um, some odds and ends, but mostly we are ready to go. So Wednesday we get the keys. We have a U-Haul booked. We're going to move almost all the boxes or as much as we can fit. We have a 15-foot truck. So all the boxes, like I have a Julie armoire or anything that else we can get in that truck, we're going to move it. And then the movers will come on Friday to pick up the big furniture. So that'll give us Thursday to get a jump start on unpacking and hanging curtains and shower curtains and, you know, little things like that. So we're both of us super excited, like super excited. So anyway, the warmers are off now and getting ready to be packed up. I have my last empties here, as I said. So let's just get to it. And I didn't get her near as much put, done in my melting basket, my that last melt. Oh, I forgot one. Oh, but the scent notes are on there. Um, is what I thought I was going to get melted, but that's okay. When I get to the new place, it'll all go back in the inventory again. And I'm going to reorganize my wax because the last couple of months I knew I was moving. I was just kind of throwing wax in there without any, you know, method or anything. So I'll go back. I had a, several months ago organized them alphabetically, but that wasn't really working. And so I'm going to go back to separating them into spring, summer fall, winter, and that worked for me. Um, so I'll probably end up doing that. But anyway, chit chat, chit chat. Okay. Uh, okay. This will be my, um, garbage basket, I think right there. Okay. Non-wax stuff. Uh, out of Jason's car came a car bar in Cider Mill and the car bars are packed, but I happen to have the scent circle from the whiff box that I just unpacked the other day. So the scent circle in his car, and that's a pretty strong one, but the Cider Mill is super strong. If you love Cider Mill in the wax, you're going to e love it equally as well in the car bars. I love car bars, and for the most part, most of them are very true to the wax fragrance and also have pretty good longevity. I did find, though, and I, because I, I have a stack of car bars. I love car bars. Um, I do find, though, that if the scent is lighter in the wax, it's going to be lighter in the car bar as well, which I guess that makes sense. But anyway, Cider Mill... Ooh, love it. Uh, still has some, some scent in there. Brings together fresh apples, crushed pumpkin, and simmering spices for a cozy autumn treat. Definitely, you get the you get the pumpkin and then apples, and but you do get simmering spices. It is so warm and cozy. It's really good in the car bar, and it's really good in the wax. I highly recommend it. Okay, and then this... Oh, that's... Wait, no, that's wax. I said we're doing non-wax. Okay. Uh, I finished off, I, I don't normally show these, um, and the only reason I'm showing you is because I don't really like it. Uh, I usually, when I take off my eye makeup and then I go, uh, take off my eye makeup and then go around with um, my cellar water, I do that with the little cotton rounds. I get mine at the dollar store, they're like a hundred for a buck or buck fifty, whatever it is. But when I went to get some last time, they didn't have the, long, the small ones, they have the big oval ones, which... Uh, they're okay. They're, they're fine. They do the job. But, um, uh, so this is a pack of 50 for a dollar fifty at Dollarama. The big, long, skinny, the long, skinny tube of the smaller ones are like a hundred in that pack for about the same price. So that's why, and I, I use the same amount. So with the big ones, I also use two, one for my eye makeup and one for the micellar water. And so it just isn't a value for value wise. That's the only reason value, I guess. Um, also non wax. I finished a uh, fragrance flower and I think this one was in winterberry apple tea. Oh, I smell something cinnamony in there. I don't know what, maybe it wasn't. Anyway, listen, I saw a picture the other day in one of our Scentsy groups of at, so this I got at Target Dollar Spot. It was a 
it had a, a round wooden base and it had a black wire metal cloche, okay? And on top was a black bat. And I thought, oh my God, wouldn't those be great with the villains? And anyway, the person was showing it with a, with a fragrance flower in there. But I thought, oh no, I need to get some of the villains fragrance flowers to put under there to make it all, you know, spooky and whatnot. But anyway, side, side note, that was a fragrance flower. Uh, and then I think the last non-wax thing is um, finished a hand soap in Sweet Mint and Rain. It was okay. It was okay. Yeah, there was kind of a weird, um, let's see. Um, watery Bamboo. These are my new contacts. Watery Bamboo, Juicy Melon, ah, yeah, and Fresh Mint. It was the melon, because I'm not a fan of melon since it was the melon. It was okay, but it was, now that I know it's melon, that's why I didn't go over the moon for it. Okay, then uh, yesterday morning I put in from VCS, uh, am I eating just because I'm bored? That's like my theme song. Um, oh, uh, am I eating just because I'm bored? Eggnog, salted caramel, vanilla gingerbread, and rich sugar cookies. Oh my gosh, this was so good. Jason did not care for it at all, but I loved it. It was like, I need bakery in my life. So I put it in yesterday morning. And I was on all day yesterday. I worked last night, so he didn't change the wax last night. And when I walked in the door, it was still blowing strong. It is really, really good. Uh, this was bore, poured in November 22, so almost a year old. Super strong. If you love bakery scents, if you love gingerbread scents, it was really uh, heavy on gingerbread and cookies. It was so good. So, so good. So we have a little bit more of that left. Um, from Destination Wax Quickie Wedding, which is fresh strawberries, strawberry seeds, and marshmallow fluff. This was okay. I love ev just about everything from Destination Wax. However, if I want something strawberry from DW, I'm going to head strictly for strawberry seeds. So good, so authentic, so divine. Also from Destination wa Wax Zalabia, which is Libyan bread drizzled with clementine scented honey. This is a repurchase uh, several times over for me, Zalabia bread. Um, I have not ordered from Destination Wax in a while, probably that November 20. Oh, no, that wasn't Destination Wax. When was this poured? 11 of 21. This might have been the last order I made with DW, and I think because Canada Kim got on that order as well. So I'm getting low. Again, I say this for it's so, so, so expensive to ship to Canada from the U.S., but for Destination Wax and a few others that I haven't ordered from anybody, but that Destination Wax will be one that I will order for. And I sent Rebecca a message. I haven't checked. I don't know if she's read it yet or not. Hey, Rebecca, how would you feel about doing a coffee sampler? from DW. Wouldn't that be the bomb.com? I think it would be. But anyway, I haven't got a response yet. Uh, another one from uh, Destination Wax, sugared amber and plum, right? Plum, sugared amber, cashmere musk, and a spike of candied citron. Now, uh, if you recall my love for um, black amber plum from black amber and plum from um, Goose Creek, and now it's not on the website in any way, shape, or form because I just checked the other day. It's like maybe they brought it back. At one point, they had some hand soaps and maybe some hand lotion or body lotion, which I bought. I went through the soaps already. I think I might have one left. Maybe I don't. But anyway, so it's gone. So I thought I would try this one time. Destination Wax, Sugared Amber and Plum. It's like maybe that's kind of the same uh, has plum in it, has amber in it. It is really, really, really close. So I do have a um, loaf of this that I've not touched yet. And so if you were a lover of black amber and plum from Goose Creek, I recommend checking out sugared amber and plum from Destination Wax. Now, don't be too worried about the sugared part. It's not too sweet. It's more, you still get, it still has that kind of dark richness from the amber in there so it was like I said I bought a loaf of it so it's pretty darn close to my nose to um 
black amber and plum or black amber plum whatever it's called okay moving on let's see we have some nonsense here from better homes and gardens lemongrass and ginger i love this so much you definitely get the fresh ginger. I When I melt this, I feel like I'm walking into a Thai restaurant. It is so good, and it is so strong, so, so strong, and longevity. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, then we have three little odds and ends here from um, the bathing garden is Easter Basket. And this was fresh orange cake and vanilla sugar crystal. Oh, yeah, this was really good. This... Um, it just has that orange cake bakery. If you like orange bakery, you're gonna love it. It was really good. Now this one, Better Homes and Gardens Lavender Lemonade. Uh, I don't know how old this is, but it is old, kind of yellowed there. The packaging was yellow. So I don't know if this has been in my stash since I moved from Houston. It may be because we don't have Better Homes and Gardens here or possibly somebody sent this to me. I don't. Oh, it might actually it might be from Teresa. I'm not sure. But anyway, I think something was off. It wasn't like a fresh or the, the lemonade and lavender that I remember. Yes. No, something was not right about that. So I think that I think that came with me from Houston by the looks of the clam. Uh, this one from DD Coconut Milk and Patchouli is uh, Sweet Coconut and Sandalwood. An exotic patchouli. I like this. Um, the coconut milk was the prominent note here. I would have liked a little bit kind of like 50-50 coconut milk and patchouli. What else is in there? Coconut sandalwood. Yes, like a little bit of sandalwood. But anyway, I wanted a little bit more of the patchouli to come out, but I did enjoy it. And then the rest is uh, Scentsy. And I have my scent notes pulled up right here. Uh, Southern Evening. I think this is in my club. I always can't remember if I put Southern Evening in my club or Thunderstorm. I think I think I put Thunderstorm in my club. We'll find out in October when my next order comes. But anyway, uh, this one is Southern Evening, French Lavender, Geranium, Subtle Fruits, and White Musk. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's that lavender really makes it kind of sharp and astringent, which I don't love. So I'm pretty sure thun, um, Thunderstorm is in my club. But anyway, Southern Evening is also really, really good because uh, it was a toss-up between this one and that one. But I think uh, the other one won out because this one lost by hair from the that French Lavender. Okay, uh, moving on. Bamboo Yuzu. Imagine a Japanese garden as you breathe in dewy bamboo, tranquil lotus flower, and fresh yuzu with hints of sage. Bamboo, lotus, yuzu, and sage. This is just green and fresh. You, I don't get a lot of sage, but I get what I what I think is the bamboo, that green note from the bamboo. But if you like fresh green wax, green is usually fresh scents. Not always, but if you like those kind of fresh scents, bamboo yuzu is really good. This was a bring back my bar. Uh, next, we have Pink Sunshine, and this is Lush Pear and Plum, cozy up with cashmere and a glass of rose milk. Plum, pear, cashmere, and rose milk. This was light. This was really light. I didn't really, uh, I smell, when I melted this, all I could smell was kind of like that warm, cozy cashmere note with maybe a hint of a milky rose behind, but I didn't really get any plum or pear. Uh, frosted cinnamon roll. I actually melted two of these, and this is the scent of the month for September. Um, where are you? An irresistible blend of powdered cinnamon and a pinch of sweet clove topped with a gooey layer of whipped vanilla sugar. This is really good. It's clove on top. Definitely clove. Um, I really didn't get any powdered cinnamon, and I did get a little bit of a creamy note with the clove. It was really good. I melted two of them, so it was a thumbs up for that one. Sandalwood tangerine I talk about often. It's one of my favorites. It's in my Scentsy Club, and it's mom's favorite as well. White cedar in a spritz of tangerine brightens sandalwood groves. 
Now, this is not a bright, zesty, juicy citrus at all. The, tan the uh, sandalwood really kind of warms it up a little bit. Um, so I would say you get the sandalwood first, the sandalwood slash cedar. And behind that, it's a very subtle uh, citrus note. But if you like sandalwood scents, I highly, highly, highly recommend sandalwood and tangerine. And I'm not sure, I've, I've been, I have not been dedicating a lot of time to Scentsy um, the last month or so, just, you know, packing and packing and organizing and donating and whatnot. So I wanted to look and just see if we have anything sandalwood, tangerine in the catalog. I don't want to spend a lot of time because I have more packing to do today, but... I thought there was, but I guess I was wrong. No surprise there. Okay. Uh, that was that. So the next one is Mojito Mambo. Love it, love it, love it. If you like to drink mojitos, you really need to get this the next time you see it. Mojito Mambo. Sparkling club soda, crushed lime, and muddled mint. Sway away with white rum. You definitely get the lime and the mint. It's a, it smells exactly, exactly like a mojito. Like if you had a mojito right here and this, well, I don't, I won't go to that extreme that you couldn't tell, but they'd be really, really close. I love mojito mambo. Next one is Starburst Sky. And this is sweet apple mesmerized by whipped vanilla and creamy coconut clouds against an amber blossom sunset. Apple, vanilla, Coconut clouds and amber blossom. This is really nice. I definitely get the uh, the whipped vanilla. I did, on cold and when I warmed it, I don't get apple at all, but I just get a really kind of creamy vanilla, maybe a little amber, kind of like a cozy, a cozy scent. Uh, I really enjoyed that one. Dumbo soar high through the sky. Uh, soar high above the clouds where thrills and delights abound with apple, melon, magnolia, and candied fruit. This is super, super popular. I know people that have tons and tons of this. It's in their club. They're never, ever going to take it out. I, I didn't love it. Again, it's the melon. As soon as I smell it, it's melon. And so for me, this, I would not repurchase this again. But again, listen to other people as well. It is popular. If you don't mind melon scents in your wax, you might like it. Lake My Day. Um, refreshing lake waves lap peacefully over crisp bergamot and fresh oak moss. This was nice. Again, it's got that bergamot in there, which always to my nose reads kind of, you know, perfumey slash cologne or body washy or something. It's It's got the bergamot in there. So I liked it. Though I don't, I don't dislike it. Um, I wish it was just a little bit less of the bergamot and more of maybe the fresh oak moss, but it still was good. If you like fresh scents, that's like my day. You'll like it. This is a favorite of mine. It's in my Scentsy Club. Wrap yourself in the coziness of creamy vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. Now, speaking of bergamot, how funny. I don't smell that in here. All I smell is the very, the cashmere, the vanilla, and the creamy cashmere sandalwood. So cozy, cozy, cozy. I have this, I think, in a lot of different things other than the wax, whatever it comes in, I got it. And I think I have it in a car bar. Did it come out in car bar maybe last year? I don't know. But cashmere corduroy is definitely a favorite. Let's see what it comes in. Okay. Scentsy bar, room spray, scent circle, scent pack. Carbar, yes, I knew, I thought so. And Fragrance Flower. And um, yeah, so lots of options for uh, cashmere and corduroy. So, and as I said, I have in the car bar, it worked really good in the car. Blue Coconut Beach. Um, lush Palm Leaf shades creamy coconut and whipped vanilla beneath a bright blue sky. Yeah, definitely is coconut. If you love coconut scents, you're going to want to get this one. 
Um, of course, the fall winter catalog's out now. Um, definitely coconut and vanilla is really uh, nice about that one. And finally, mango margarita. A burst of tropical fruits blended with juicy mango and a dash of sparkling citrus. Right. I remember. I This was really light. I remember, like, what is in the warmers right now? It's one of those kind of things where you can't even remember what you put in and you can't smell it either. So I would have loved this um, if it was stronger. Yeah, it was very light. Okay, that's it. Um, so today uh, we're going to be doing some odds and ends, picking up some things for the move. I need some, you know, uh, curtain rod hook things that you set them down in. Anyway, just a few things like that. Then we get back. We get a, an afternoon full of packing. Um, tomorrow we pick up the van. Tomorrow night. We need to get more boxes today. That's our big reason for going out. We need more boxes. Um, as far as Sensi is concerned, this is Monday. Today. Today. 9 o'clock. Or sorry, 10 o'clock Pacific time. Uh, 2 o'clock Atlantic time. Find your time zone in between. That's when the Villains collection is releasing. I put it on my Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube yesterday. So go check it out. See what's available. There's an Ursula Scentsy Buddy. There's a Warmer. There's Fragrance Flowers. There's Scentsy Bars. If you are a Villains fan, you're not going to... There's two Warmers, actually. There's two Warmers, actually. Or is there one? The Apple, but it's... Is there an Ursula Warmer too? Maybe I'm thinking of that last collection. Anyway, if you're Villains fans, you want to be online today on my website at 2 p.m. Pacific time to pick up your Villains collection stuff. So having said all that, I think I need to go and get busy. Um, and let's see. I think I did post something. Oh, no, that was last week. Yeah, there will be no Sensi Saturday this week. We will be in the midst of unpacking and getting organized. And I apologize for that. But next, the weekend after that, we will get back on track. So I hope everybody's having a fantastic week. Um, it's just starting. Today's Monday. Just starting. All the days kind of go together when you're just kind of doing the same thing, packing. But anyway. Okay. So you might not see me again, but I'm here. If you have any questions, uh, just uh, fire me an email. It's on under all my... Um, descriptions in all my videos send me a text message instagram message facebook messenger whatever you need to ask me i'm here um and uh that's it for now so we will see you in probably our new apartment in a week or so until then i'll see you bye